All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, let's get into your reading. So your overall energy, Aquarius, starting off with the Fates and a leg up. I feel like there's somebody that you want to work with. Um, you lift each other up. You feel it's fated and destined, all right? Possibly like a wish come true. Your person's overall energy, truth be told, and flexible. I feel like this person either is very honest or some kind of truth came out and they want some kind of new beginning with you here. Um, not for you is the underlying energy. So I feel like Aquarius, this could be like an old person's energy or somebody that you just left. Um, you felt it wasn't for you. Um, some kind of truth may have come out. I don't know. Let's get into your reading because uh, this, this seems pretty interesting. Uh, Aquarius, keep in mind it is a general reading. Energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Starting off with temperance, divine timing, divine flow, um, having patience, uh, Sagittarius energy there. What else is going on? Aquarius is person, two of cups. All right, I feel like this could be the new person's energy. We have the moon, Cancerian energy, and king of wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. I feel like Aquarius, um, you may have had options. Yep, you ended something and now you have. Oh, now you have some kind of ending for a new beginning happening here after some kind of painful ending. Some truth came out. <laughs> you could have felt like you were left in the dark for a hot minute, but truth came to light. And I feel like this is kind of a mix of like old person to new person or moving into a new connection or new relationship. But let's see, what were the blockages here for Aquarius? And their person blockages, blockages. Yeah, things weren't balanced. Somebody could have been giving to two. What else? Aquarius blockages, blockages for Aquarius. Ace of Cups was there, flipped over, yeah. You weren't feeling overflowing with love with this person. Um, I certainly feel they weren't giving that to you at the time, all right? New beginning in love was being blocked, overflowing of love. Your cup wasn't feeling full. Yep, because there was lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing going on. And I feel like you realized that, yep, you felt ignored, bored, left out, four of cups. Yep, things weren't moving forward. Yeah, you just, you just wanted things to flow here, Aquarius. You just wanted things to go smooth, relationship moving forward like it's supposed to. Um, but it wasn't. And I feel like, I don't know, either you have no regrets for moving on to somebody else or this person may have not felt regret for lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, whatever that is. Um... But let's see, intentions. What are this person's intentions when it comes to you? What are their intentions? They want to heal. They want to heal this. I'm going to see who's coming towards you in a second. Let me just get through this, okay? Because I feel like it is this other person's energy coming through. Toxic. They were toxic or they kept you stuck. Um, Capricorn energy, I'm feeling again. This is this person's intentions. Wow, this is not good. You're walking away. They, they couldn't commit. You felt abandoned. You felt like an option. You felt confused all the time. You guys weren't on the same page. It's like, I wonder if this person was always trying to make you feel bad projecting things onto you. It's your fault. It's your fault. This is some crazy energy here, Aquarius. Not for you. You're done. You're done. And you're moving on. You're moving on. So let's see. Who is this that's coming towards Aquarius? Or who's, who's Aquarius moving on towards? Who's the new person? Aquarius, you feel it's faded and destined. If you haven't met this person yet, I feel like you're going too soon. Yep, because a tower is happening. Which is 
a wake up call. You know, it's that epiphany, that aha moment. I feel like things came crumbling down with you and this other person. And now you're going towards victory and success. Now somebody else has your attention. So who is this mystery person, Aquarius? Who is this mystery person? Who is Aquarius moving towards? All right, male or female, no gender in tarot, but I feel like you're moving towards a king of pentacles, somebody that can give you stability, long-term loyalty, stability, family dynamic, grounded, abundant, secure, finances might be pretty good with this person too. Um, they can hold a job, they have maybe a career going. They may have children or maybe it's someone who wants to start a family, all right? I feel like Libra energy with justice and then six of pentacles, this person's very balanced. Equal give and take, equal reciprocity. For some of you, there could be an age difference or I feel like this is kind of like a new beginning, fun, youthful, flirty. You you have somebody new. Oh, the lovers. Gemini energy soulmate energy you're making that choice to move away from this chaos <laughs> towards this new person and that's good that's good so let's see how is this going to turn out for Aquarius how is this going to turn out how is this going to turn out for Aquarius what's the potential outcome keep in mind you have free will so do they all right so the energies can change and I am not here to tell you what to do so some of you could still be kind of like juggling do i leave this person do i go towards new um what do i do yeah you know should i shouldn't i will i won't i i feel like you're still juggling that energy let's see because you don't quite know maybe you haven't met this new person but you're planting seeds you're trying to manifest some kind of a new beginning here Two of Cups, that soulmate energy, that equal exchange of love. You're not blocking this new person. You're not blocking them, which is good. All right, yep, you're making that decision, that big judgment call, Scorpionic energy, to go towards a soulmate, something that's faded and destined. Could be an earth sign that you're moving towards. Aries energy. Where is this going to lead? Where is this connection going to lead? The world. You could live at a distance from this person. There could be some travel involved. Or you are completely closing out that cycle, Aquarius, and just moving on to new. You're closing out the toxic cycle. Yeah. Ooh, you could be going towards a Scorpio. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Sagittarius. You're rushing towards somebody, they're rushing towards you. I feel like there's attraction, passion, desire. There's equal exchange of love. You both feel this soulmate energy. I feel like this new dynamic is really good. You guys, maybe you work together. Maybe you met them at work, a leg up. But I feel like you guys will work good together as a team. Um, let's see, obstacles for Aquarius to overcome obstacles, right? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video. If you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. Okay, so <laughs> uh, obstacles, comparison, and trust, and the source, and the creator, and your inner voice. This is screaming. Trust the universe. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Don't compare the two. This is no comparison. This new person is not going to be like this last person. All right, apples and oranges here. So there's no comparison here. But I feel like you might be because you're still kind of like, should I, shouldn't I? What do I do? Is this new person going to treat me right? Are they going to respect me? Are they going to be all about me? Trust your intuition. The universe is definitely sending you signs and synchronicities. I have inner voice, the creator and the source. I mean, come on. Don't ignore this. Don't ignore this. Could be a missed opportunity if you do. All right, let's see the messages for Aquarius. 
fifth dimension. Intuitive communication. You are connected at the soul level. Check this out, soulmate. The fates. Fifth dimension. You guys are communicating with maybe not even knowing you're communicating. Separation. No contact. 5D nightmares. Dreams. Focus on your own happiness. That person could have been a nightmare. <laughs> And material world, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. I feel like you are about to level up here. That's awesome. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to you? Could be the old, could be the new, could be you that wants to say this. What's going on? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I want to be more than friends and I am not available. Hmm. So this new person could have been a friend. And you just weren't available because you were with this other person. You speak to me through music. Music could be a, a big deal to you guys. All right, let's see. Some letters, numbers, or sorry. <laughs> I feel like I can't get my words out with you guys or have like flow of communication, which could be how you feel. Maybe you're feeling a little like <laughs> trying to talk and communicate. Whew. All right, get our thoughts in order. I'm going to pull some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initial. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. I have J, I, P, S, Z, Q, D, W, G, and V. All right. Um, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, a birthday, um, angel numbers, which by the way, for you, I'm seeing a lot of ones. So one, 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 one could be manifesting some kind of new beginning, new start. All right. All right. Ooh, 11, 11, 11, 11, and five and seven. One. So one, five, seven, 11. So it could be the first, fifth, seventh, or 11th of any month. Could be January, May, July, or November. All right. Uh, zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Aquarius season. All right. We have Taurus, Libra, Leo, and Gemini. So Taurus, Libra, Leo, and Gemini. Could be any sign you guys place it where you see fit, but Aquarius, that is what I have for you. 